Good morning, everyone. This is Rivgal. We are doing a quick check here before we continue on with our existing, or before we continue on to the boss of this area. We did most of this side area already. I want to see if we can bust through this. You cannot. Now we know. So there must be some other way around over there. So for now, we are going to continue through the desert half of the planet Divido to fight the mutant at the end and hopefully get our reach the uh, end of this area. I will be reuniting the pilot and mech. I think this kind of goes back to my annoyance with this section. At least we do get uh, to go through it fairly quickly. Like, it gets us back to this section relatively quickly, but that's really all we get. Uh, we need to get one gun power up. Here at some point. Oh, I do not like those guys. They don't like me either, so that's fair. right now. Okay, so this looks like it takes us over here. Uh, that looks like it's going to push us into that barrier, so we want to approach it from the side. Never mind. See if we can actually get through this section without getting hit this time. Actually, let's real quick explore this area first. Okay, so this is does look like the way we need to go. Whoa. So we need to get around, flip the green switch, and then come back and do the other switch. So we need to go down this way. Right into that wall, yep. Yeah, the... Barriers in Divido are instant death, so this whole section is full of random instant death.
So we need to go up here where you can see that green block is now down. Fortunately, we can't save again here. Uh, this is going to be what we need to do. I don't know what we actually need to flip that for yet, but we can flip it there, so... I kind of wish we'd saved this checkpoint at this point, unless there's another one coming up soon. Okay, so I think we need to go all the way down here. I'm guessing this is going to be a loop back up to the beginning, which will then let us go up where we weren't able to before. So probably up here. And I got really lucky there. Didn't take a or not taking a second hit. Gotcha. So we couldn't get through that part before because of that block. And now we can get through up here. Perfect. Okay, so this is most likely a big boss fight. There's a large chamber even. Looks like we're gonna be able to toggle. Oh wow, that's a big boss. Be on your guard. You know, the impressive part here is, she just said, oh, he gave uh, Stein a lot of trouble. Stein said that this thing damaged his tank and we're taking it on by ourselves. So that's an interesting uh, bit of lore. Yep, that's problematic, unless we can get another lucky drop here. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here anymore, but... I feel like I've spent the entirety of this level saying how much I hate these enemies, and now they're like the primary thing that I'm dealing with in this boss fight. Oh my gosh, okay. So I need to be a lot more careful early on. 
to get my gun power, or to keep my gun power, because I feel like that's going to make a big difference here. And we're screwed. Great. I feel like I've been doing a little bit better about actually paying attention to when he's vulnerable this time, as opposed to last time where I was being a lot more defensive. I am also running out of grenades. I'm out of mines, I'm out of protector orbs. You know what? I think F-Sphere could actually be really good here. And let's go Splasher. It's not actually doing anything, but... So close. Like, one hit off. This thing's really nasty. I... Okay, I feel like I need to start on F-Spears sooner, because they are a pretty solid way to do this. And I need to be maybe a little bit more conservative with my defensive uh, spears. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't feel like it's that hard innately. It's really attrition more than anything.
Okay. Oh! Yeah, I get it now. I'm doing this entire fight wrong. You're supposed to knock these guys into his mouth. And they do tons of damage to him. Well, we did it the hard way for most of that, and still beat him once and almost beat him a second time. So there's our FNG. I hear you loud and clear. Jason, how you doing? Looks like you defeated the punk. Were you able to meet up with Tesset? No, about that. Even with the mutant gone, the distortions are still there. It's no time for chuckles. Are you two okay with this? I don't want to be a part... Don't worry about yourself. When I finish Adam's repairs, I'll come pick you up. Why couldn't we just bring her with us? <sighs> okay, whatever. So there's two warp points we can go back to. I'm assuming that the easy one is here still. That was really close. So I guess we've Got the path to G open. We did not finish F1 yet, so let's go double check this and make sure we didn't miss something. Actually, just really quick want to see. Okay, so there isn't actually a way to get through this. Unless we found a way to break. Actually, I have a thought. We can't break through this, but maybe we can break through this? Maybe we can break through the blocks on the side. No. to that one with Jason, but I don't know how to get there with Sophia. Unless we can go up through this. And that gets us that last switch. Missing a lot of powers for our main gun on the tank for some reason. Maybe that's the problem. Okay. Well, we are at a good stopping spot, it feels like. That was mostly just that one boss fight. We've really nearly reached our destination on this journey to Planet Sophia. You seemed fine while we were on Divido, but ever since we left, she's been entering sleep mode frequently. It's difficult for her to even stand up from her seat. 
Pinkstein might have picked up on her worsening condition. Just a little longer. Area G. Okay, so we'll pick up next time with Area G1. Hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.